Game design process basically takes participants, let's say, so those who are taking part in the creation of the game, through the process of generating an idea, all the way to creating the, the game out of this idea, yeah, through the prototype, play testing it, implementing it, and then coming to a sort of final outcome, yeah? Now, game design is also quite a repetitive process. So it's more of a spiral than a linear, although I was showing it like this. It's not a linear, but more a spiral, a spiral process because it involves a lot of back and forth. So you make a step, then you test it with others. So you either make a step forward or you go step back. Yeah? And when we talk about game design in this context, it's mostly that we talk about tabletop games or games that are used in education. We didn't venture so much, let's say, in video games or in the digital spheres. And the reason why we feel it's compatible with non-formal education is because there is a lot of principles that are implemented in this approach that are very similar to non-formal education or the same. For example, it's voluntary, so you can join in the process or you can leave it. Yeah, if it feels overwhelming or it, you don't connect to it, you can leave. It's very participatory, otherwise it doesn't work. And I know we say that about a lot of things, but it's really, if not everyone joins forces, it's quite a complex thing that things will not move. It requires very different profiles and competences, and this is another reason why people need to join in. So you need a group, so you learn from a group, like in non-formal education. It also relies a lot on the capacities of of the group itself or the participants and not one external source like the teacher, let's say, because the teacher or the facilitator can lead. But if people don't have the willingness, the, the, the kind of the attitude to join in, it will not work. Yeah. And maybe connected to that one final thing, although I think there is more there, is that it really plays a lot on a deeper level of learning, which is how do I behave? What are my attitudes towards things? Am I ready to do? So am I willing? Do I have the openness to join in in the process and, and so on and so forth? So, Observing the process, it really looked like it, it really kind of implements non-formal education in practice. And I will just give you one anecdote that in several processes where we did game design in a, in a training, for example, the environment somehow also was very playful. So somehow we managed to have kids in it. We had animals, we had different cats or dogs, because somehow it feels that it's a very inclusive environment because it's so playful. Somehow everyone can find a place. Yeah? And for um, one of our participants in one of the processes said that for them, that was really a symbol of this is really an authentic learning process.